Opening us for the news at five. I'm Brady Tolbert and I'm Julia Avant. We're covering news that is getting national attention that happened right here in the river region. Last night, a brawl broke out at the riverfront and several people were detained. Viewer video shows multiple people involved in the fight. Soon after Montgomery police arrived, arresting several people. They say charges are pending. We are working to gather the latest information on this. Montgomery police said the entire incident is under investigation as they home through multiple videos provided by the public and city video surveillance. As you can imagine, many residents have their thoughts on this incident. We spoke with one man visiting the riverfront today. With this being Montgomery and the birthplace of civil rights with a lot of his history, uh, it's unfortunate that we make news now for the wrong reasons. Uh, hopefully uh, a lot of good may come out of this, maybe more policing, uh, maybe better policies to prevent this uh, from happening in the future. Montgomery Mayor Stephen Reed is also reacting this evening, saying in part, quote, last night, the Montgomery Police Department acted swiftly to detain several reckless individuals for attacking a man who was doing his job. Warrants are being signed and justice will be served, end quote. The mayor also went on to say that these types of actions are being investigated and will not be tolerated in the community. Hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. All right, so I know you saw the video, so you saw the, the news cl clipping. If you want to see the actual video of this brawl or this fight, or this get back, or this Wakanda Forever Part 3, go on down to the description box or in the comments, and I'll uh, <clears throat> leave a link we can discuss but you see it's under the, this is the montgomery advisor advisor.com and it says suspects detained after saturday night brawl on riverfront park dock now this happened right slap dab in alabama <clears throat> what people like to call the birthplace of the civil rights movement and as i'm watching this video you know First thing that comes up is it's the racial tension. It has to be, you can't avoid it. You know, I love to see what people like Jason Whitlock and Candace Owens say about this. You know, they'll put the, they'll try to take the racial aspect off of it. They'll talk about society and God and this, that, and the third. And I understand it because in the grand scheme of things, it is just a, fight between good and evil but sometimes it's not the case because if someone attacks you now we grew up in a country that was predicated on race it was built on minimizing someone else's skin color devaluing someone devaluing someone due to their skin color and uh and it uh it's been like that since the beginning of time. Now, it's starting to come to a head. And I'm not gonna blame Trump, I'm not gonna blame Biden, because I'm sure they both got, well, I've seen Biden's racist and bigot, bigoted comments and actions that he has done since he's been in office. <clears throat> you can go all the way back to the 70s, probably before the end. <clears throat> and Trump, Trump just say some dumb, well, I ain't gonna say dumb stuff. So Trump say stuff to get people riled up for, to, to build a fan base. Some of the stuff I only think he believes sometimes, but I mean, it is what it is. It's stuff like this, you know, this is where the comp, this is where the country, this is how the country began along racial, this how it was built up along racial lines. And now all of a sudden people want to come out and say, oh, we had a black president. Well, not a real black president, but a fake black president. And people say racism no, is over. No, it's not. It, it's not like I say my mother tells me stories of when she was growing up and how she was treated by them folk and I said to myself well hell if she's still alive that means they still alive too so it's, the, the, it's not gone and now you see younger people 
doing the same thing that they grandparents and great grandparents did and they think it's okay but yeah so like i said the grand scheme of thing yeah there is good versus evil but this here is you have no choice but to fight along racial lines you can say people saw one man getting jumped by another man and people came to his rescue i think one of the first guys that came over and tried to break up the fight was a little little pudgy white dude with like he had curly hair but he had like a vest on so i think he worked there but it doesn't matter you know and they pushed him out the way to to still get to the brother but when you see a group of one race jump one guy of another race you cannot fault them you cannot be upset if they don't even have to know why it's happening when they see that when we see this happening first thing we thinking is oh these white boys are jumping this brother it's on i don't care if that brother kicked one of them in the butt tongue kissed the girl in front of him groped the, groped the girl whatever call them all kind of well whatever cussed them out through bottles of them it does not matter when you see the bra because you don't know what happened you don't we don't know what exactly what was said or what happened before the video started you see what i'm saying but when they saw it happen the brothers came to fight and unfortunately in this country that's what you got to do period you cannot gloss over the racial aspect because that's all it was this is all that it was and like i said it's in alabama so that does not help your argument that it's just good versus evil. I wish it was, but it wasn't. So hey, when I saw the video, like I said, shoot, I was like, man, that's what I'm talking about. Like I said, Wakanda forever. And hopefully that'll teach people that you just can't. But you know what? It's not gonna change people's minds about another race. It's just not, it's just gonna make that person hate that other race that much more. Because one's going to be like, see, they all good when they, you know, pile on and all together and jump in one brother. But then when the odds are even, no, 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 no. It ain't time to retreat and get back on your boat and say, oh, man, it's over. We don't want none. No, you should have thought about that. You should have thought about the consequences. And this is one of them things where when you see something like that, you can't, you can't worry about the consequences. You got to do what's right. You got to come to the fence of the defenseless i mean he fought his butt off and he's still standing at the end but hey that's not how that work that's not how it's working what it is is you got to make people respect you i believe that brother malcolm x said back in the day man you know in order for this country to get right and people get right it's gonna have to come to violence and i'm not an advocate or a proponent of violence because me i tell you all the time i'm at an age now where i just want to live in peace you know what I'm saying let me live let you live I just want to make it home in the evening that's it I just want to make it home in the evening come home go to bed in peace and that's it don't want to you know what I'm don't want no drama don't want no trouble but don't get me wrong if you bring it I'm gonna give it it's simple as that but that ain't what I'm about you know but when you bring that energy man you know you got to understand, you got to be ready for the energy, energy to be brought back. Now, I don't think it would have been too bad if just that one dude was fighting the brother. And that would have been the end of it. Because I think the brother was going to get him. But then, when the other one started piling on, that's when you know. That's when you messed up. But anyway, <clears throat> let's skim over this story a little bit. It says, a uh, fight began between several white people and one black man apparently over Doc's space reserved for the riverboat so in other words in a word anyways in other words these boys thought that they can put their pontoon boat i don't know if they was parking it docking it trying to undock it whatever and the dude was saying you got to move that pontoon boat for 
the ferry, pretty much. You know, the the government ran ferry that taking people from one side to another. You're gonna have to move your little pontoon boat. And they got upset with them, I guess, and then they want and they words were exchanged, they want to fight. Like I said, you can see pictures here. And down here you see this brother here swimming across. Uh, like I say, I'll post a video in a link. I'll post a link below so y'all can watch it. Like I said, I'm not finna trip on YouTube tonight. It says several people were taken into custody Saturday night after a fight on the dock at the Montgomery River Riverfront Park. A video of the incident, which appeared to be racially divided, was shared Sunday on social media. Yeah, it was racially divided. Like I said, that's how y'all raised us. That's how y'all groomed us to think everything is racial. So when it seems like a, somebody, people are getting the upper hand on one person, first thing going to look at is what color are they? And then it's on this uh Montgomery police said they respond to the disturbance at the 200 block of Coosa Street at 7 p.m. according to MPD a large group of people were fighting several several were detained they said the fights was captured on video by onlookers and that's one thing that kind of disturbs me when people you know record stuff but not taking action but this was okay because it was enough guy I think as soon as that fight started like if you look at the top of the pier or the top of the dock or whatever it is the dude took off running. The brother took off running down there, <clears throat> you know, when the first start. So, and like I said, old boy jumped off the boat and started swimming over there. So you had dudes, you know, people that was going to uh, aid this brother no matter what. Uh, the area is a regular spot reserved. It's the regular spot reserved for the Harriet Two River boat. Uh, Sunday, the MPD said there were four active warrants issued for the from the fight with the possibility of more after review of, of additional videos. Uh, see what the mayor said. He said warrants have been signed and justice will be served. My only problem with this is it's going to be a few brothers that's going to uh, get arrested. You know, going to get harassed by doing the right thing. You're supposed to come to the aid of your brother. People can say, you know, call the police, don't get involved, whatever. No, you don't do that. You come to the age of but you let them folk know because it's easy for somebody to hit and then you know what they say hit and then hide your hands throw rocks and hide your hands it's easy to do that but when somebody see you throwing rocks and you raise your hands i'm like oh man you know my bad i won't do it again no there has to be an opposite and equal reaction to make sure you understand that ain't nobody gonna tolerate that because you because you might just try to do it again next week with the same brother and I think and I sure hope he does not lose his job because I mean after he got you know how businesses are man they, they don't tolerate fighting but he is a security guard so he may not if he's a security guard nah he may not but a lot of places they won't tolerate you fighting even if somebody hits you first and you retaliate and whoop them then you know you get fired because you engaged in you know fisticuffs but you're just defending yourself right so like i said i hope that don't happen but yeah i know the problem is it's gonna be brothers get uh arrested i know them uh the white guys and the white girl they're probably gonna get a go fund me page and raise like 10 million dollars for their defense and then and then our people gonna have like seventy five hundred dollars now i ain't gonna say that man don't put it up i hope, I hope they do put up a GoFundMe or whatever kind of you know, a uh, 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 peer, you know, fundraising uh, link, so that we can all put some money on they on us for that for their defense. Whichever one of them brothers get locked up, so send somebody raise money, so you know somebody try to raise some money, so we can send some money down there, so we can get these brothers out. Cause you already know what's gonna happen, y'all. Y'all already gonna you already know what's gonna happen. He said one short video posted on social media by Josh Moon, of Alabama political reporter. Shows several white people fighting a single black man who, according to Jasmine Williams of WSFA, is a dock worker. The only audio heard is from witnesses yelling, but it appeared to begin with an argument between the black man and one of the white men. Another white man rushes and hit the black man, who backs up and tosses his hat in the air. Then the fight begins in earnest, and then several white people begin hitting the black man. So see, once you y'all jumped in, it was over. It was over. Like I say, better be ready for, ready for the engine. But like I say, man, it's, it's sad that this country is built like that. Because, I mean, 
I'm gonna tell you, me myself, I'm probably one of the most pro-black people you'll probably meet ever met since you know since junior junior high and high school days. <clears throat> but I do understand how this world really operates. It really operates on money. I mean, once people start realizing that and see the importance of it, unfortunately, the importance of it, you'll see that yeah, you get into a lot of circles, get away with a lot of stuff, get a lot of perks when you have money. I've seen it. I've been through it myself with just a little change I have. But it shouldn't be that way. Because, you know what? I'm going to end this like with a quick little story. Like, even today, I'm uh, driving my truck home and the freeway kind of swerves and something happened. And the, uh, like, uh, what you call it? The check engine light came on and that light with the, the one that had like the little squiggly lines behind your truck. Forgot the name of it just that quick. But anyway, those lights came on. And so now I'm like panicking and paranoid, like, man, what's going on? So I made it to the house. I go onto a subdivision's uh, uh, social media page and I ask, does anybody have one of them little devices where you can check the code, engine codes? And one guy right on cue who, uh, I got some feelings about this dude that's not too pleasant. He sends a message, you know, saying that, well, you can go to O'Reilly's and they'll check it. I'm sitting thinking, I just don't like when he, I just, it, it irks me. But like, it's, it's a history behind that. And usually I normally don't respond to anything he says, nothing at all. But I said, I know, I've done it many a times, but I don't think, I'm not sure if my vehicle will make it to O'Reilly's. And then another guy, posted you know and i'm trying and, and the people that's posting the guy that posting this he's you know one of them you know saying he's one of them folk and then another guy responded who's also one of them folk and said yeah i got one you know what I'm saying you come down here and use it i'm like okay i'll be there in a minute went down there coolest dude one of the coolest dudes you ever meet we sitting there talking you know acting you no know, talking like we you know I, i've never met the guy personally <clears throat> on a level like this but we're just talking you know talking about it, automobiles and jobs and the weather and traveling and all this kind of stuff while you know while we checking these codes on my on my truck and i'm like see this is how it's supposed to be because in my in my subdivision that i live in you know you got black white hispanic um i think that's it i think that's it but whatever everybody pretty much everybody's cool with everybody pretty much you know we had this ice storm down here and people were having like uh hot water heater problems or tankless, you know, tankless water heater problems and stuff. You know, people, we was helping each other out to repair, to install. Whenever people have car trouble, you know, flat tires, we change tires, air, I mean, whatever, uh, fixing lawn equipment. If somebody need a tool, we going down to each other's house. I mean, it's just, it's just how this neighborhood is for the most part. Like I said, you got maybe one, two people that I, I, could, uh, I, I could do without. But for the most part, everybody's cool. And that's how it's supposed to be. But you also got to think about, you know, the neighborhood we stay in. It's a diverse neighborhood, it's nice homes, secluded kind of subdivision, big lots. I mean, people around here, we respect our properties and we know that everyone else that comes in this neighborhood who lives in the neighborhood is going to do the same. So everybody's cool, but it's not like that everywhere. So my point of saying that is it really you know race shouldn't be an issue the problem is like i said the country that we live in this is is embedded in me you embed it in us to look at look at certain races other races as enemies because of the things that yes we have been through the things we holler reparations for whether past present or whatever this was talk to us this is how you raised us so don't sit here now when there's get back. Don't be surprised. Don't be upset how we react because it's genuine. It's mainly genuine. I could just imagine how they feel, how the brothers and sisters feel in Alabama when it comes to them folk. So, but like I say, don't, don't, uh, like I say, don't, don't try to hide from it now. It is what it is. But anyway, 
Tell me what you think about this story, man. Like I said, I'm going to leave the links down in the description box. I would love to hear everybody's comments on this one. So when I saw it, I was like, yeah, man. Like I said, we're kind of forever for real. Don't play with us. We, we can live in peace with ourselves. We can live in peace with y'all. But don't bring that, don't, don't bring that, that negative energy because we're going to give it right back to you. But like I say, tell me what you think. Leave your comments below and then share it with the world. And with that being said, I leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other side.